Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at a fraction of a number, like what fraction of a number equals this. Um, and I've kind of put like a couple of different variations, but really we know that off is just multiplication, so it's not a biggie. Now, think about it like this. Like, there's actually two ways of doing this, and I know that I've not covered um, uh, reciprocals yet. So I'm going to uh, try and show you guys this with another way of doing this. Um, does it work? Yes, it will work. Um, I kind of was thinking about this quite a bit um, on how to explain this without the use of dividing. Because think about it like this. Anytime you have a number, right? Like, for example, if you do 7 times what number is equal to 28, you would actually say that number is equal to 28 divided by 7, right? So that's how you know that this is going to be 4, this is going to be 4, and so on. Now, when we do that with uh, fractions, we're going to get 3 quarters multiplied by something equals to 24. Now what that means is that that something is equal to 24 divided by 3 quarters. Now here's the thing. You might be already know, you might already know how to do this and if you do perfectly fine um, you should be all good with it. But if you don't know how to do this you might need to wait for a couple of uh, videos because I think I am doing uh, division and reciprocal soon. But for now we're gonna kind of like just completely disregard this and see if there is another way a quicker way of doing this and sometimes that's all to do with like uh, observing observing what's actually been given and what we can actually do with this I wanted to get rid of this but you know what this is just being difficult at the moment let got to do it manually all right here we go nearly there so one way you could do this is actually put three quarters uh, as equivalent fractions so what do I mean by that so if I put three over four equals to 24 over what all right it's almost like you're putting it as an equivalent fraction um, and you know and, and trust me this this will work um, so in this case you've got to try and figure out what that question mark is now we did equivalent fractions way back in like uh, when was it when was it we did it for like number level three right right at the beginning so in this case we, we look at the numerator what we're doing to the numerator is we're multiplying by 8. And if you look at the denominator, we if it's an equivalent fraction, we also have to multiply by 8. So 4 times 8, what's going to happen is 32. All right? And here's the magic part. 3 quarters of what number is 24? It is actually going to be 32. Now, you might be wondering, what, what kind of magic is this? It's not magic. It's just ratios. And how ratios actually work. Let's actually check it out on the calculator, right? So I'm going to put down 3 quarters multiplied by 32 equals to 24. So it's really just understanding how fractions work um, so that you're able to actually make decisions like this. So if you look at number, uh, sorry, question B, we've actually got 4 sevenths. And we're going to put down 4 sevenths is equal to 16 over what? So the first thing is we know that if you want to change um, six, 4 into 16, we've actually got to multiply by 4, which means we've got to multiply the denominator by 4 as well. And what we have is 7 times 4 is going to equal 28. And guess what? That answer there, that empty space, is actually going to be 28. So let's try it out. So let's go 4 sevenths multiplied by 28 is equal to 16. So it's just a really quick way of doing this, um, particularly with fractions uh, of a quantity. And you don't know what that quantity is, but you're given the final um, number as well. It's just a, a really quick way of finding it. Now, let me just go back to um, A. And I'm going to show you guys this in a little diagram. Hopefully, this actually makes sense. So right now, what I've got is I'm going to put this as. So there's my three quarters, right? So that's my three quarters, and if my three quarters are actually 24, that was the original question, remember? Three quarters of what is equal to 24? Basically, the yellow part is all adding up to 24. So if you think about it, each of the squares, 24 divided by 3, is going to be 8, 8, 8, and 8. And what we can then say is 4 times 8 is equal to 32. It's just another way of actually looking at this. 24 divided by 3 and then multiplying it by 4. Um, yeah, so if you, like I said, like sooner or later we'll meet up reciprocals. 
and things will start clicking at that point. But really, equivalent fractions, times table, uh, very, very useful as we move forward. Anyway, guys, that's basically it for this session. And as always, thank you for watching.